penalties split between Trump, his companies, his sons, and his former chief financial officer. And in addition to the money that he'll have to pay, Trump is barred from serving as an officer or director of any New York corporation for three years. All right, let's get straight to Fox 5's Antoine Lewis, who's live in the newsroom with a full breakdown of the judge's decision. Antoine. This decision came down around 3 this afternoon. A lot to get to, and as you pointed out, Steve, a lot to break down. But here it is. What it breaks down to for the former president, specifically, nearly $355 million is the amount that former President Donald Trump and his companies have been ordered to pay in the state civil fraud trial. Now, Attorney General Letitia James had initially asked for $370 million when this suit was filed. Mr. Trump, as you pointed out, Stephen, has also been barred from serving as an uh, officer or director of any New York corporation or other legal entity in New York for a period of three years. Trump's oldest sons, Eric and Donald Jr., co-defendants in this matter, have each been ordered to pay just over $4 million in damages. Judge Arthur Ingeron also ruled that both sons are, listen to this, barred from serving as an officer or director of any New York corporation or other legal entity in New York for a period of two years. That's, of course, a year less than that of their father. The ex-president and the Trump organization have also been barred for applying for loans in New York State for a period of three years. And the court also determined that retired federal judge Barbara Jones shall remain in her role as an independent monitor of Trump organization finances for at least the next three years years. Now, a few other takeaways that we want to be sure to pass on to you. Alan Weisselberg, the former chief financial officer for the Trump Organization, has been ordered to pay $1 million in fines. He, of course, was a witness for the prosecution in this case. And while typically these judgments can signal the end of a court case, we are learning that Team Trump plans to appeal this ruling, which came as no surprise to anyone. But they will either have to come up with the money or secure a bond within 30 days. Now, Attorney General Letitia James is holding a news conference at 6, where well, she will react to today's decision. We'll, of course, keep you updated in our newscast, and you can also get the very latest updates online at fox5ny.com. That is the very latest from the newsroom. We'll send things now back upstairs to you. All right. Thanks, Antoine.